Hello friends, this video on organisms and population part 9 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now not only plants, light also plays an important role in animals. Now this might sound a little uh, weird at once because you might think that how is light directly impacting animals. Now I will give you a lot of instances where light uh, directly affects animals. So some of the aspects in case of animals where light plays an important role are pigmentation, animal movements, reproduction and photoperiodism. So let's discuss each of these one by one. So first let's talk about pigmentation. So when it comes to pigmentation, the first thing that we can think of is the coloration of skin of animals which is very strongly influenced by light. So you, you would have seen that if you stay in the sun uh, for quite a few days what happens your skin color tends to become darker so what i mean what happened to your skin color that's because under the influence of light the pigments which are responsible for imparting skin color so those pigments get affected in presence of light and as a result uh, the the skin color becomes darker and because of the same reason you would have seen that humans living in the tropical areas that is near the equatorial region which receive more light are darker our skin gets darker in the sun so if you compare somebody who is living in india uh, with somebody who is living in say united states or say europe so you would see a difference in the skin color and this gen this happens due to the exposure of light in different regions. Let's look at some examples like frog, wall lizards. They often look light in color in bright sunlight. So because sunlight has a direct impact on the pigments which uh, imparts color to our skin. The next uh, impact of light on animals are with regards to their movements. So a lot of movements in animals are like directly impacted by light. So let's see how, especially this type of movement especially happens in lower animals. For example, you talk of Euglena. So Euglena, if you talk of this animal, you would see that it always moves towards the source of light. So from wherever light is coming, it tends to move in that direction. Similarly, these type of animals are known as positively phototactic animals positively because it is moving towards light so positive photo is light tactic means it is like attracted towards light so these are for positively phototactic animals similarly we also have negatively phototactic animals and one such example is earthworm so earthworm always tends to move away from the light source it always wants to move uh, towards darkness so these are called negatively phototactic animals so these type of movements are also influenced by light you think of reproduction even reproduction in a lot of animals are uh, influenced by light so in many animals light activates the breeding season for example especially in birds they are more active for reproduction activities during summer than winter because light activates their breeding activities. So therefore reproduction process happens more uh, frequently during summer than winters. Now there exist different types of animals based on their activity in uh, light. Like some animals are more active during the day, some animals are more active during the night. So let us look at the different types of animals. So diurnal animals are those which remain active during the day. So examples of such animals are the birds, butterflies, they are all diurnal animals. We talk about nocturnal animals which are active during night. The best example would be the owl, the bat, they remain active at night. Auroral animals are those which are active during dawn. Dawn is the early morning time. So examples could be uh, Bubalkus which is a, a bird like as you can see on the screen. Vesperal animals are those which are active during dusk that is the time during the evening, the time during sunset. So examples are rabbit. 
So you see different animals are act more active during a specific part of the day. Now what happens throughout the day? So during the daytime there is maximum sunlight, during night there is no light, during dawn again, during dawn and dusk again there is limited sunlight. So depending upon how much light is present, the activity of so many animals are impacted. So that ways we can say that light influences animals as well. So if some animals are influenced in their movements, some animals become more or less active with presence or absence of light. Some animals, uh, their skin color and pigmentation are impacted by light. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.